Hello and welcome to another one of my lead code videos. So today we're going to 82, which is removing duplicates from a sorted list 2. And what this problem is, is that given a linked list, we should remove the we should remove all numbers that are that appear more than once <clears throat> so for example you have one two three four five and three appears twice and four appears twice we get rid of both of the threes and both of the fours so we're left with one two and five so this is not like you only keep the unique elements because then you would have three and four but if the element repeats itself then we remove both of them and we are given that the list is sorted so the way we can use we can make use of this fact is that any duplicates that occur would be right next to each other because the list is sorted so <clears throat> like if you have a 3 here there would be no other 3 that's far away like on the other side of the 2 or on the other side of the 4 because the list is sorted so any duplicates that we have would be together so what the solution that I'm thinking of is a recursive solution so for example we have 1 2 3 3 4 4 5 um, we can think of a linked list as a head and another list, right? So we can use that to recurse. So what I'm going to do is if the head and the next one are different, then we just recurse with the remainder of the list and then return head. Otherwise, we find the first unique. Um, if they're the same, then we find the first unique uh, or the first number in the list that's not equal to the head and then recurse with that number. So uh, let's do this. That will be if. So first the base case, so if the head is null or head.next is null, meaning if you only have one, <clears throat> if the, the head is empty or you have a head but there's nothing next to it, then it definitely has no duplicates because you need at least two elements in the list to have duplicates. So then you just return head in this case. Then you see if head val is not equal to head next val, so meaning if they're not the same, then you just delete duplicates on head.next and then you return head. Otherwise, <coughs> What we're going to do is traverse the list for the first and find the first number that's not equal to the head. So um, we're going to keep like a list node tracker is equal to head and while the tracker is not equal to null. Well, I think I have to do this. So I have to set the head.next to delete duplicates on the head.next. So then I return the head, yeah. So because if it just ends up deleting everything and returns null, then we should have that as the new next of the head. Otherwise we'd just be returning the same thing. Um, so here, we have our tracker set to head and then while tracker not null uh, we just go like tracker is equal to tracker 
dot next this is the standard way of traversing a list but we want to stop if we find um, we want to keep going until the tracker dot val is equal to the head dot val so as long as the trackers value and the heads value are the same we keep going and then we'll end up with the tracker pointing to the the node which yeah we'll end up with the tracker pointing to the node which is the next unique number in the list so then uh, what we do is we return delete duplicates on that node on tracker so then we don't care about so what happens is what will happen is of uh, one will come here as head and then we set one dot next to delete duplicates on this one and then we recurse and then we return head so then delete duplicates on this list would come here and would see two and three are not the same so we would set two dot next to delete duplicates on this list and then on this list we would come here and we would see that they are the same so we come into this loop and find the first node that's not equal to three so then we'd come here so then this would and then when it recurs when it deletes duplicates on this one it would again find that this and these are the same it would come here and try to find the first node that's not five so it's this one and then it will recurse with five and then five dot next is null so it would return five and remember when we went into this we set we set the twos next to delete to the recursive result so the recursive result of that would be just the node five so in effect this line would set the two dot next to five and then return two and then the in we back we pop out of the stack of the recursion stack and then one dot next would be set to that return which is two so then we'd end up with a list that says one two five so let's check this thing real quick Oops, I need double equals here. Yep, and let's try to submit it. Yep, it has fastest time and fastest space. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and see you in the next one.